Hello everyone, it's me, Heidi. Yes, <laughs> this is me. I just came back from a hike and oh, we are just going through such a nasty heat wave and the humidex is up near 40. So I just came back from a hike the past couple of days. Hi Minnie. Um, I've had to go out after supper uh, because it is just um, way too hot during the day. And in the woods, it's all shaded, so it's uh, quite a few degrees cooler in the woods. So um, I just put this mask on. It's a Japanese mask, and it's got menthol in it. And it just cools me off so much. And I got this little portable fan. And, oh, I feel like 100% better. And there's uh, Abby's passed out. Millie's looking for a cool spot right now. So I'm going to show you what I'm burning and melting today. And I'm really looking forward to fall at this point. There, let me take this off. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to fall. <laughs> the cool, crisp air. Um, I'm enjoying the summer except for the heat. Uh, so I really love my fall scents, but um, I just, as, as much as I love them, I need to have something light and bright and kind of refreshing on these really hot days because I get so lethargic in this weather. I just I just have no energy. I always feel drained in that, so I need something kind of light and bright. So I am going to show you what I'm uh, burning and melting today on this rather nasty hot day. Okay, so someone asked for a little update on my garden. So this is the side here, and these little paws here are actually solar lights. Um, so that's the solar unit there, and these light up at night. And I got my black-eyed Susans blooming. I love black-eyed Susans. I might get another one and and plant it in here. And I got I plant this hostess earlier, so that's going to get quite big in a couple years. And that's a succulent that turns kind of a mauvey color there. Alrighty, and then this is some more black-eyed Susans there. And then uh, this little fossil my father-in-law uh, found in Northern Ontario. And a little hens and chicks in there. And then this is that uh, piece of wood that I had uh, dragged out of the forest up in Owen Sound. And I planted some succulents in here and they've taken off quite quite a bit here and that uh, have a solar light there so it lights up at night and it looks really really nice and then uh, all of this here was filled with those bushes so Frank just yanked them out um, he just wanted to look a little bit more open than that um, uh, so he surprised me with these little stepping stones a couple years ago. So we did take out some bushes here. They were just getting, one was dying and one was getting kind of overgrown. Um, so at some point, uh, I'm going to plant some more here. I just haven't decided. I think because it gets a lot of shade here, I'm just going to put um, some hostas in here. Just fill it up with some hostas. Got my little wind chimes. Um, so yeah, my coleus has taken off quite nicely. They get absolutely huge. And uh, some hens and chicks in there. So some of these plants have kind of died off. I just haven't didn't have the proper pots for them with the drainage and that. Um, so there's not as many pots out as previously. These have done quite nicely. And some more coleus. If in doubt, doubt plant coleus. <laughs> uh, have a lot of um, Julian's plants out here for the summertime. So yeah, this is the first year I had this kind of grass and it's kind of dying off there, but it has these fuzzy little things here. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the uh, the front porch. 
All right, in the bedroom I have Beach, Sage, and Mint by Bath & Body Works. And this is um, just a, a light, refreshing type of scent. It's filling out the bedroom. I get the mint. It's more kind of a veering towards the natural mint. Uh, the sage is not overly herbal, but it's just a really bright, uh, soothing kind of scent. And in Julian's bathroom, I'm just finishing off um, just one cube of the wild, uh, sorry, wild black cherry. It's not focusing. There we go, wild black cherry. And yeah, just one cube literally fills up the entire upstairs. Um, I've probably had this one in for maybe not quite two days, maybe about 36 hours. And yeah, at this point it's ready to be changed out. But yeah, this, uh, if you like ber berry scents, this one is a good one and it's strong. Um, so yeah, just, uh, I warn you though, just one cube is plenty. All right, and the one bedroom is Scentsy's Bonfire Beach. How come you're not focusing? There we go. Uh, so this is similar to the Bath and Body Works. Um, uh, oh god, Marshmallow Fireside, that's what I'm trying to think of. Uh, this one's quite a bit lighter though, like uh, it, I can smell it throughout the room, but it's pretty light and it tapers off quite quickly. I don't know if other people have that issue with this one. Um, but yeah, if you do like that scent from Bath & Body Works, you will like this one, but I just find it uh, quite a bit lighter. And in the bathroom downstairs, I do have, I don't have the package here, I think I threw it in my little empties box already, but it's the... Fusion by Sensationals uh, Wax Tart in Paris from their uh, Bon Voyage line. And this one, oh man, this is strong. So I got two cubes in here. And it uh, fills up about half the downstairs and wanders upstairs. Now when it first burns, it's a very, to my nose, a very heavy, cloying uh, honey scent with... Uh, almost like wildflowers kind of mixed in with the the honey um, and then it kind of, when it does taper off and it doesn't taper off too quickly but when it does taper off it becomes this really uh, much less cloying very pretty uh, wildflower honey kind of mix it's really interesting so yeah um, probably uh, one cube in a small room would do it but I, I actually really do like this scent Alrighty, so if you're Canadian, uh, you probably know about President's Choice products. Um, I really love this one. It's a green tea cucumber mint. Um, so it's this one's made with uh, brewed green tea, and it has cucumber and mint in it. And oh man, it is so refreshing. You have to like cucumber uh, flavored juices, however, but I mean green tea, but. Um, oh man, it's so refreshing on these really hot days. And the other flavor they have is this white tea lavender flavor. They're both really good. So in the uh, kitchen I have mint leaves and lime. And uh, some people may recognize this as the uh, pro Project Art by Nest Fragrances. Um, yeah, they came out years ago and I had snatched up quite a few and then they disappeared. And then they came, had a sort of a short comeback in the discount stores there. But I've had such good luck with these. Uh, they're two wicks. They burn really well. Uh, this one is basically filling up my kitchen. I think I do have a lavender and sage one left. And a um, uh, peppermint one, I think. Or did I finish that one? I, I think I have a couple more left after this one. But yeah, this is filling up the kitchen. Uh, it's a natural mint, uh, the limes in there. It is just so, so good. Uh, these were just some of the best candles. I don't have my Scentsy Make a Scene Warmer on right now. I did have um, Scentsy's Rosemary Mint, which is um, actually doing quite well in my kitchen. Usually Scentsy doesn't do well in my kitchen, but this one's doing pretty good, but it, it's going to get overwhelmed with that uh, nest candle. So. Uh, but yeah, rosemary mint is really good. A good blend of like an herbal minty smell. So yeah, that one's actually doing pretty good.
And then uh, last but not least is uh, Fusions by Sensationals, which uh, Fusion popped up in the Walmart Canada's here. And this is Watermelon Honeydew. And actually I put, um, I put two cubes in here in the pantry area. And it's wandering out to the front door. It's kind of wandering into the kitchen. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually kind of competing with the nest candle, but um, they go together quite nicely actually. But uh, it's probably about 80% watermelon and 20% honeydew. You can um, smell that sweetness of that honeydew there. So it's actually quite nice, a nice uh, summer scent. All right, so that's it. I think I will go have a cool shower and um, it's um, getting darker earlier now. So, you know, it's, um, it's heading towards the uh, middle of the August here. So I am going to have a shower and then I'm going to read my book. Um, and then once the mosquitoes start uh, eating me alive, I'll come back in. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's keeping safe and keeping cool. And um, that's it. Everyone be kind to each other and take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.